<laughs> Good morning everyone. Thank you so much for sticking with Daybreak. Uh, this is of course a Thursday, but what is a Thursday without Chef Ali in the building? And like we had said on Instagram, I mentioned Zuko Piga Makelele Instagram by the way. If you follow him, it's <laughs> at Chef Ali, right? At Chef Ali Mandre. There you go. <laughs> so we've already started the show on Instagram. If you're just joining us on TV, well, congratulations. Welcome. Good morning. We're about to have an amazing meal. Chef, what are we cooking today? Well, we have a lovely, fantastic array happening here. We're mm -hmm. going to do some chicken salad. You know, we're talking about being healthy. I just traveled. It's crazy. I got back. I've been eating a lot. So I'm just trying to cut off a bit of some, you know, a lot of, you know, fattening food. So mm -hmm. we're going to make some chicken salad. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to make some mohogo with a bit of some pili pili. And then we're going to add on with a lovely smoothie. And then we we'll just take it from there. It's going to be fantastic. So for now, let's go through what we have on the table. All right, let's see what we got today. Take Great. me through this. Great. So mm -hmm. we have some bananas, the sweet bananas. On the same, the smaller, the sweeter. <laughs> I, this is when I miss Willis Raburu Aba. So when I say my Vindizi video, by then it's time to So you know, it's up to you guys. Mutasema on Twitter, and then now we have some honey melon happening here. You can call it sweet melon, honey melon. Would you love it? Let me ask you. Between yes. this melon and mm -hmm. the kawaida melon, which mm. one is your favorite? Well, um, the red one. Are you serious? <laughs> the red one. Because this sometimes, it can, it, it's, it can be sweet, <laughs> and sometimes it can be like, you know, very good looking, and then when you eat it, like, oh my God, I know sukari. So I need to honey melon, fake honey melon. Okay. Anyway, great. And then we have some pineapple happening mm. here. Look at it. Nice and yellow. This means this is super, super sweet. Mm. This is metokatika. Mm. But anyway, we'll find out when you eat it. Mm -hmm. And then now we have some oranges. This is a lovely imported oranges. They're beautiful, always flavorful. Look at that color. Fantastic. Fantastic, easy. You never go wrong when you make a juice mm. with it. Oh my God, it looks beautiful on screen. Mm. And then now we have the watermelon, which is also said to be a lovely aphrodisiac with the coco zenyere. Really? Coco zake. Oh yeah, it's fantastic. And then the green part is also really, really, really good. The green part of the melon chef. <sighs> yep, that's the best. That's the best. That's very good. And then now we have some... Uh, Bread rolls. Yes. Yes. I'm going to say my bread rolls. They make a sim sim kirogo, you know, just to make it fancy. Look at that. Fantastic. That's a beautiful shot. That's a bougie bread. <laughs> and then this now bread have, comes from Karen. Eh, me toa Karen, eh? Yeah, toa Karen. And then now we have mandazi. Sasa, mm -hmm. ini mandazi. Okay? Kawaida mandazi. Mandazi ya kawaida. Si maamri. Okay. Ini mandazi. Okay? okay. Great. So I just want to clear that. Okay. 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 <laughs> and, then and then now we have some fancy brioche. Brioche. This is very French. Is a French? Yes, brioche. Yeah, very fancy. <laughs> I, I I would do a bread roll, but again, you know, you know, gongil sometimes just can be very fancy. So it's either bread roll or brioche. <laughs> uh, it's brioche. a brioche. It's a brioche. It's a brioche. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And every day you learn something new. Yep. And then that's, that's a muffin. A muffin. Mm -hmm. Muffin. So what flavor is this, chef? Yeah. Is this vanilla? Yeah, this looks like vanilla muffin. And then we have like a spiced kind of muffin. So mm -hmm. this is more of like spicy, konakidogo cinnamon, and all this kind of beautiful stuff happening in there. Mm -hmm. And then now we have some Danish. Right, so Danish can come in different kind of shapes, you it know. It has raisins. Yeah, though. it has raisins you inside. Like raisins? A bit of, I love raisins. I love everything. I love everything food. <laughs> Anything edible. So this has a bit of some nuts in there and a bit of some raisins. Mm -hmm. And then now the shapes are different, as you can see. But then they're all Danish, mm -hmm. all Danish pastry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then now we have some croissant. Croissant. Yeah, which is basically croissant. croissant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to make it look sound fancy. So here we are, croissant, a bit glazed, beautiful. And then now the healthy part, we have the uh, whole grain bread. Yes, it's, it's not mm. the brown bread you can color. Yeah, it's actually whole grain. Whole grain. It's actually whole grain. You okay. can see, like you know, when you like you know, zoom in here, you can see that actually this is whole grain. But this chef, when you shop, how do you yeah. know the whole grain bread from brown it's bread? Actually, that is it's actually fake. written whole grain. But then you to take a look at it closer, you'll see a bit of some, you know, utona grains, some mm. you know, a bit of some particles. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And then now white bread. Uh, as usual, white bread. Um, some people cannot do without white bread. And of course, we wrap it up with some lovely tea. And today we have an array of flavors. We have morning time, we have chocolate tea, we have blueberry, we have black tea, we have spice tea. It's your choice, Zinzi. All right, it's ladies and choice. gentlemen, let's get this show on the mm -hmm. road. You've already seen like half of the table. I know. <laughs> and today we're saying we're making chicken salad. We're making chicken. So what we have here is just an array of spices. We're just going to quickly go through them. We have a array of spices. We have a bit of some cayenne pepper, turmeric, you know, coriander. We have a bit of some rosemary, chopped, you know, and all the beautiful stuff. This stuff, nuts we're going to use for the shake. And then now we have some garlic ginger paste, which is my ultimate garlic ginger paste happening here. And then now we have muhogo. Mm -hmm. We're just going to spice it up. What is muhogo in good. English? Cassava. Cassava. Yes. And uh, we do a lot of cassava and then we do a lot of cassava greens as well. Lovely. All right. So ingredients for chicken salad? Ingredients for chicken salad. Now we have some turmeric. 
it's gonna have first you need some uh, chicken breast so i just want to heat up my my uh, pan ipate moto kabisa now we have chicken breast here so chef you can take the lead here so we're just gonna separate these we're gonna divide them rather yeah. divide them into two so just remove it and put it on the uh, chopping board and then we just slice it a little bit yes into yeah. two so that it can be able to marinate really well yeah. and also cook really fast Ooh. Yes. great Ooh. fantastic beautiful we're just going to divide them and then we're quickly going to marinate them once they're divided so the idea of dividing them is that we want them to become uh thinner mm -hmm. and cook in a very short time mm -hmm. and also it cooks towards the inside as and, well and marinating just going to take like five minutes it's <coughs> not your kawaida marination it's for like 12 hours exactly I, like overnight makes it even tastier but again Ooh. you know with this one we just want to make it a bit mild we don't want to make it too you know, uh, spicy yes. at the end of the day. So we're just going to quickly do it. So this is like on the go, mm -hmm. on the go uh, brunch that you want to make. Mm -hmm. So quickly, we're just going to return this on the on the uh, plate and then we're going to start marinating it. So for my for the marinade, what I'm going to do... Is this honey, chef? Yes, that's honey. That's honey. Uh, chicken goes with sweet and uh, sour. So that's going to be fantastic. We're just going to do a bit of some honey. So first things first, we're going to do a bit of some salt. So chef, I'm going to do this, chef Masai. You're going to start mixing. Yeah. Salt with your bay hand. is more like it. Yes, salt bay, a little salt bit. Salt bay. And then we're going to do a little bit of some turmeric. Yeah. A little bit of some turmeric. What does yeah. the turmeric do? Is it to give it the color? Yeah, um, yeah, a little bit of some color and beautiful flavor as well. And mm -hmm. then, of course, we're going to bit of some honey on top there. So don't don't be afraid with the honey. Let's just throw it in. Ooh. So do you want to go in and mix it up with your hands? Yeah. Yep, we're wow. naked chefs. If you want to do a glove or you just want to do your hand the way it is, that's yeah. fine. Yeah. So you just want to start mixing it up. Oh, my goodness. Yes, I'm going to do a bit of some curry powder mm -hmm. in there. I love the flavor of curry powder. It just makes it even more. Even the smell of it. I know. A bit of some coriander powder. In there as well fantastic yes a bit of some rosemary yes. i just love rosemary and chicken yes. Yes. yes yes and then a bit of some chili powder what's your secret spice what's your go-to spice um i would say garam masala really <laughs> garam masala it's a touch of everything you know it's like it has all the all the pilau mix mm -hmm. blended together mm -hmm. it's just it's fantastic i would never i would never miss it but I've, again uh -huh. um Garlic ginger is my ultimate also ingredient. I love how you're just taking a pinch of everything. I've noticed it's yep. just a pinch. It's not everything. Foie. Yeah, a little bit of everything, you know, because you want the flavors to like uh, marry really well. Yes. Yes. <laughs> you know, I saw a tweet that said mm -hmm. in Africa, we mm -hmm. don't taste salt. It's until you hear your ancestors saying, Imetosha. <laughs> like, that is enough. Mimingi. <laughs> oh, goodness. It's too much. It's too much. <laughs> that's in true, Africa, by the we way. don't, we don't, we don't pima our salt. Actually, we don't, we don't taste as we go. You know, that's the thing. We don't taste uh -huh, as we go. Taste as you go. Yeah, it's very important to taste as you go. Uh -huh. So most of the time, we on Like in sasa, we go to Kenya, we go to Kenya. Hey, that's my food. Yeah. I'll do what I want. <laughs> chef, what, do you have a favorite meal when you're a chef? Well, like possibly, what could be your favorite meal? Uh, I don't have a favorite meal. Right? I appreciate food for the way it is, you know. I, I eat anything. Me and many people attack and I kula kila kitu. Kila kitu come my way, I eat it. Mm. Garlic ginger paste in there, mix it up again, yes. And then How finally, did you make that paste? Um, you just blend garlic and ginger. Uh -huh. Blend garlic and ginger, a bit of some thyme if you have, a bit of some coriander if you want. Give it a nice blend and preserve it in the fridge. You can add a bit of some oil for preservation purposes. Love it! Yep. Love it! And then we just quickly... Can I cut out some limau? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Great. So as this is done, we're just going to quickly finish off with the marinade with some limau. Yeah. Lemons. Then let's just go with the... Yes. Lemon limau. Yes. Lemon limau, lime Ooh. nindimu. Yeah, Look get that. that juicy in there. Look at yes. That. Beautiful. Yes. Pinya, we're going to get some juicy in there. Fantastic. Now you're improvising. Koroga. Let's do this. Let's do this, chef. Let's do this. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Make it like it's your age. That's good. Now, let's uh, start pan searing. No, 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 we're not wasting. Mm -hmm. I, I never waste. It's zero waste, by mm -hmm. the way. So, it's not last time. Zero waste. Goodness. Zero waste. All right. Let's do this. Let's put it up. Let's put it up and start pan, pan searing. Twenty. Twenty chef. Don't worry. So, go up here. Doing that too. Yes. Nice uh -huh. time to get a bit of some fire. Uh -huh. Are you afraid of fire? Yes. I don't know how you and Willis do that. Oh, okay. Three, you have to teach me. Kidogo to teach me. So you want to punch here for at least three minutes each side. And you can see this is a very mild marinade. It's not my super marinade that's done overnight. So sometimes you just want to make it nice and mild. Mm -hmm. And then just want to make sure that, you know, you want to flavor 
the chicken a little bit. Then then I can be a cabeza, but chicken beer and it's sour too. A little bit of it. Just a little bit. Let's go grab it. Chicken beer, then then so. So the idea. Look at this now. I just did some flambe. Flambe. See how it's turning. Oh yes, that's what you call flambe. Yeah, that's what I call flambe. Oh. Yeah. You see that? The color has already turned. Yes. And it's already char grilled it. You know. So this is like a very easy way of making your food feel like it's done by a charcoal. Wow. Actually, you just did it with a pan, and you just, you know, pan seared it. This is fantastic. Yeah. But does that mean that it has even evad inside? No, no, bado. Bado. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Mm. So, mm -hmm. so, as that is cooking, yeah. we're quickly gonna cut our our lettuce. So okay. what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna get the lettuce. As you cut the lettuce, can I do the flamboyant at home as well? I'm gonna now end up burning the whole house. Um, no, 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 you can do it. You can do it. And a lot of people ask me, like, do you use alcohol for the flambe? I yeah. No, I don't use alcohol. It's uh, basically just the oils. So the secret is the oils are actually, the oils are kind of flying away, you know? And then now there's a flame happening here. So how to do flambe is basically right now we might not get a lovely flambe because most of the oils they dissolve up. Yeah. They are so, Nihi, one of them. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Ah, the one that jumps out of Exactly. And then you just go, like, you know, you temper with it. Uh -huh. And then you just do, like, that's it, you know? So it's like you flambe. Oh. Because the flame touches the, the, um, the oil that's actually flying away or playing around, you know? Again, you learn something new every day. Yep. So I don't need alcohol to do flambe. I just I just choose what I have on the pan. I love that. I, I love that. Yep. Okay, that already looks ready to me. Mm. Looks ready to eat already. Uh, it may work one just. Quite one day. Day. So, yeah. I'm just gonna reduce a little bit of the heat. And I've noticed you you used um, virgin oil. What yeah, is it? Yeah, I, I love using olive oil. Olive oil. Olive oil is healthier, mm -hmm. and uh, you know it's very healthy for human consumption at the end of the day. So uh, less cholesterol is like really really good. Mm. I'd rather I'd rather use olive oil. And some people say cooking with olive oil is uh, probably toxic, but again, nah, we've done the research. There's nothing wrong with cooking with olive oil. Right. So, lettuce. Yeah. It, there's no science or how you want to cut your lettuce. It doesn't matter how you want to cut it. So you can actually just go a bit of some really thick um, shreds. There you go. Or you can do also like you know more of like just crumbing it out. Here, if you want to take the lead, mm -hmm. let's do this. Let's just uh, slice them. And then we're gonna arrange it and then we're gonna use the chicken as our you know um centerpiece for the salad you know when a lot of people hear the word salad chef you just mm. think vegan vegan and boring but for exactly but what you're saying today is that you can enjoy your white meat yep with salad yes and you still have a healthy tasty meal at the end of the still day have a healthy delicious tasty meal because you have all the deliciousness happening you know inside the chicken mm. and then it's all flavored mm. and then after that now you pair it with a salad which could be a bit blunt because salad is you know blunt at the end of the day you know mm -hmm. high in the flavor but then now to make it fun a bit of some you know demo a bit of some soy sauce <clears throat> make a lovely vinegar actually you can make a lovely vinegar mm -hmm. to go with the salad mm -hmm. really well mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. just to make it fun so the chicken still feels a bit thick to me. So How I'm do you know do it's ready? Because I can see you're really pressing yeah, it down. Yeah, I'm really pressing it. I want it to cook, but I still feel like, you know, it's a bit, you know, kidogo and bichin bichin done. So what yeah. I'm going to do, I'm just going to slice it a little bit. So you just want to clean this a little bit for me, Sha? Yeah. Yeah, just do that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this out. Yes. And I'm going to put it on the, and I shall please slice it for me in the middle. So it cooks towards the inside. I just want to make sure that it's cooked. Yeah. So the thick part, yes, look at that. Uh -huh. Look at that. So it is cooked, but then I, I'd rather I'd rather have it a bit more done. So look at that. Let's take a close up look at that. Yep. Yep. I'd rather have it a bit more well done. So I'm quickly just gonna take it back to the pan on this end. And then take this back again. That's in less than in less than a minute. The inside all my will not be, will be cooked. cooked. Yes. Like that one was almost this is done. You know this what I love, Chef? Done. This is such yep. a simple meal. Very simple, very tasty. At the end quick. of the day, you know, yeah, quick, quick and fun as well, you know, mm -hmm. that's the whole idea and fun as well. So, so chef, you said you don't have a favorite meal, so I don't have a favorite meal. I eat but I've anything. noticed you like chicken a lot. Um, I really try to do a lot of white meat mm -hmm. as opposed to red meat. Yeah, because red meat is not good at yeah. the end of the day. Once in a while, it's fine. I've done a lot of research. It's not actually even healthy, especially for women. Mm. You know, it can cause a lot of, you know, uh, you know, I would say um, 
for women, what I did, the research is that a lot of women who are diagnosed with cancer consume a lot of red, red meat. Red meat, you right. Know? So you Process. should reduce, exactly. So reduce a little bit of red meat. Do a lot of white meat is healthier. And uh, we didn't take it from there. So that's my personal research, you know, at the end of the day, because we have people who are diagnosed and they were told not to eat red meat or kind of reduce the red meat. So I personally take very little red meat, but then I do a lot of white meat, fish, chicken, seafood, or even vegetarian oh. make it work. Okay. Yep. All right. I never yeah. knew that. It's good to know that. Time when does the cassava come in? Um, uh, later on, once we're done with the salad, then we make the salad. We the, okay. the, uh, it's just going to be like a side for it. Beautiful. Yeah. So now we can start making our... Yeah, that's fine. Our... Um, salad. Salad. So there here we are. Go. We have the lettuce. We're just going to make sure that we have all the lettuce, uh -huh. you know, distributed all over the plates. If salads were made like this, I would actually order salads more often. That's the thing, you know, yeah. that's the thing. Well, we do have a couple of restaurants that do this, and I really like, I personally really like, Chef, can you please, yeah, let's, let's kind of move this. Speaking of restaurants, I've always been curious, and I've always wanted to ask you. Yeah. yeah. Like, so when you go out and you eat, like, at a different restaurant, as yeah. Chef Ali, yes. do you ever give feedback to the chef? Are you like, mm, this could have been better? Um, uh, if it's bad, it's bad, I always say that. Mm -hmm. But then if I have a comment to do, I would easily just call the chef, and then I would... I would kind of whisper on his ear and tell him, bro, this could be better. This you know? could have been better. Yeah, that's the thing. But again, I don't want to make him feel bad. Yes. Because I understand the pressure yeah. that all the chefs face in the kitchen. Yeah. So I know I do this thing. So this is what I do every single day. Yeah. So I w I'd rather correct him and kind of like, you know, make, make him be a better. Ladies and gentlemen, you know? the other side of the crew. Is has here. just checked in. Yep. Higgs and Trevor, they mm -hmm. know what's happening. They mm -hmm. know what's up. Mm -hmm. yeah. They've seen the chicken on air. Yep. Huh? And after discussing that heavy topic, look at them just eyeing. Where are you coming? Where are you going? What? Look at you. Are you about to look? <laughs> coming to you join even some salad. Higgs, let me tell you something about Wahiga. Every day at 4.30 on Thursdays, ah, no, today I'm not going to eat on air. Today Fake news. <laughs> Not real, <laughs> not enjoying. truthful, not honest. <laughs> okay, Trevor is here. Trevor, Trevor, choose, choose wisely. Answer wisely. <laughs> Will you guys let me know when the food is ready? Ah! <laughs> I'll, I'll be back in just a bit. You, you'll be back in just a bit, yeah. says Trevor. <laughs> yep. What are you making today? Oh, chicken salad. Okay. I know, right? Chicken and salad, they, how are they in the uh, same sentence? But it's so good. Look at what Chef has done. It smells really good. So what's yep. It? What do you mean, what's in it? What's in it? No, apart from the chicken, obviously, what's in it? I, I'm trying to learn how to cook. You know, the salad... Work, work with the boy child. <laughs> it's basically just a couple of spices that we marinated the salad with, and then we just give it a nice char look, you know, the nice darkness is basically char. the char look. That's what we're looking at. And then now, just to make your salad a bit fancier and, you know, sweet and sour, we just add in a bit of some crepes. You just... There's no science or theory. Trevor, do you eat crepes? Prop. You know me, I'll go with the chicken. I know, right? Higgs, yep. look the way Higgs is looking. Yes, what? Yeah. Higgs, Higgs is staring at the chicken. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes, and then you just go with more oh, wow. lime, just to make it fun. But chef, the question is in Tashiba. Hmm? Um, to kuna mhogo by the way. So then that's fine. Uzoe na swasi to kuna mhogo. Oh, you know what I actually thought you were gonna do? Yep. I thought you were gonna slice that and add it here when cooking. No, no, no. Actually, coriander, you don't wanna cook it. You don't wanna mm. cook, you just wanna garnish with coriander or probably just a little bit or touch of the coriander in there. Mm -hmm. Just make it even fun. So you know this thing's fascinating. You know, like I said, I'm a, I'm a guy from the village, a place mm. called Andingo Panga Secondary School. Mm. So the, all these things for me they just agree. <laughs> all I'm waiting for Andingo Panga Secondary School. Do you know where that is? <laughs> Shout out to that school. Yeah. Andingo, Andingo. Andingo Panga Secondary School. Andingo Panga. This all is right, we got it. Andingo Panga. Called Kasai. Yes. Oh, yeah, represented, so, man, represented. All I'm waiting for is the chicken. Mm -hmm. All these other things. Mogo, Taki. Mogo, 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 uh, what is this? What's happening So now? we just added a bit of some oil in here and then we just want to start making our mohogo. Mohogo. That's going to go with, uh, you know, a side for the salad. All right. So what's going to happen is that we have the mohogo here. I just want the oil to become a bit hot. So what we did with the mohogo, 
which is definitely the cassava, we boiled it already. So look at that, this already boiled so that it can soften a little bit mm -hmm. and become, you know, tender. That's the whole idea. And then you just want to add a bit of some spice and then we're going to pan fry it. So, uh, so what's going to happen? A bit of some salt. Okay, salt. There we go. Can, yeah. uh, okay. Hmm. Yeah. It, what if I added the other spices? Now that's it's up to you. What do you want to do? Because this is supposed to be spicy mohogo. You can add a bit of some uh, um, cayenne pepper. You can add a bit of some turmeric. It's up to you. So what do you want to add? Let's make your mohogo special today. Uh, I'll, I'll take you from you. Okay. I don't want to end up cooking something that I won't eat. Okay, great. So do you mind a little bit of pili pili? He, no, I love pili. Trevor is the one who doesn't eat pili pili. You know, food is supposed to be sweet. Pili pili just makes you gonna cry. <laughs> I told you, my, my diet is very basic. <laughs> you very basic. mohogo would have just eaten just like that. Ibi, ibi. It's salt. You ah, too. Sir. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness. Higgs, what are you feeling, feeling about, about, about chili? <laughs> um, avoid it. Uh, <laughs> usually the consequences are, are, are more bad than good. <laughs> In many cases. Really, do I hear? Oh, that was lovely. I loved all that chili. Usually, it's all that chili. Oh, just, oh my god! Chili just finish me. No, I it's good. Like it. so oh my god, that chili was. I'm a so wise. Good. I'm a wise learner. I look at other people's experiences <laughs> and I try and avoid it. <laughs> all right, okay, <laughs> chef. I'm told we need to go on break. Okay. So very quickly, as yeah. we go on break, we'll come back and, then and we'll, we'll find this, this ready. Fight. Yeah, we'll find okay. it ready. Okay, fantastic. Then this is daybreak. We are with Chef Ali. We're taking a short commercial break. We'll be right back because. We are not done here yet, all right? So uh -huh. stay with us. We'd love to hear your thoughts and your tweets. Tweet us at Chef. Ali Mandri. Uh-huh, at Zinze mm -hmm. The boys seem to have food in their mouth, so. Uh-huh. At Trevor Obija. Uh-huh. We'll be right back. Tweet us. So chef, mm -hmm. when we were going on break, mm -hmm. we put this, and yes. it took like almost like five minutes to Literally, cook. Literally, yeah, five minutes to cook. So this is basically muhogo to mokanga. So what happened is that we already have muhogo boiled, and then to mokanga kidogo kibili kidogo. Okay, it took five kidogo. minutes. It was boiled. Yeah, it went mm. tari. So it tari. You just want to get a lovely crust happening here, and then you just want to go in with the lime. Eh, atone lime kitiwa mandi mwana go. Yeah, pole pole. Go wait. Hey, no It's like pale Mombasa. house mm -hmm. literally any place in Mombasa you get some lovely mohogo. I just wanted to like you know deeply get a lovely crust and here we are, mohogo to meiva. So we're just gonna put it on, on our dining table with our chicken salad and then we're gonna quickly make our shake. Oh my gosh. And I swear Thursdays is my favorite day. Exactly. For the I, shake. I love Thursdays. <laughs> okay, so we're making